<laughs> what it do do welcome to hood soul wisdom first and foremost i appreciate you tapping in i hope this episode finds you in the very best of every single aspect possible including but not limited to mentally emotionally physically and spiritually those are and forever will be my highest hopes and prayers for you and yours I'm your host, Ruby. Glad you came through to Align and Thrive. This episode is brought to you by Forever Wise Coaching. Align and Thrive with your health and wellness in mind. And Forever Wise Apparel. Conscious wear with the essence of a G. Episode 19. The last diet you'll ever need. And before we take it any further, nope, this ain't about food but it is about what you feed your mind. So I'm over here talking about a mental diet. Yeah, that's what it is, a mental diet. So let's think about this real quick. I've been talking about self-concept and the way we perceive ourselves. So I'm gonna take it a step further onto how to implement a new self-concept. And it all begins with a mental diet. So we're still in the new year, we're still in January, and a lot of people have goals on going on a diet. So what do you do when you go on a physical diet? Well, you eat healthy shit, right? You cut out crap, anything that's processed. You start wanting to eat your veggies, cut out on junk food, and overall you do it because you want a healthy body. So when I'm talking about this diet, this diet is about the everyday conversations you have with yourself because there is no one in this world that you're going to talk more to and listen more to than yourself and what you got going on in your mind. One of my brothers told me not long ago that we don't live in the outside world. We don't. We live in our inside world. We live within our minds. And I love the way he expressed that because it's so true. So when it comes to this mental diet, it's about cutting out worry, judgment, complaining, criticism, and all the bullshit thoughts you waste your time on and get no return on investment. Because remember, your energy is your currency and your energy is basically what you think. So you don't want to waste it. You want to invest it, right? Like if it was money. So when you're wasting your energy and you're wasting your thoughts... You feel bad. You're living in a state of worry and in a state of fear, as opposed to when you're investing, you're feeling good and you're always expecting good. So when it comes to a mental diet, this is really what the diet is about. In as simple as I can put it, you begin to assume that everything always works out for you. Think about it. You're having this issue and it's an issue that you may perceive as something huge. So every single day, you sit there and you use your imagination to worry. You create the worst case scenario and you put yourself through it day by day, minute by minute. And you're having this full-blown conversation within yourself about how bad it is and how bad it could be and how much worse it's going to get. And lo and behold, that's exactly how it happens. Why? Because that's what you're focusing on. That's what you're putting your energy towards. We do this to ourselves where we constantly think about what the next person may be thinking about us. And usually it's negative. We play out these whole negative conversations with other people in our minds. Like we literally sit there and argue with other people within our mindset. And I know it just ain't me. That's what we do. We're always jumping into the worst of conclusions. But what if instead of expecting the worst, what if we go on a mental diet? And this is, if I could sum up a mental diet, this is going to be it right here. You assume that everything always works out for you, no matter what it is, no matter what circumstance you're in. The biggest problem you're facing right now that you could be thinking of and that it's plaguing your mind. What if you begin to tell yourself, you know what? Everything always works out for me. And what if you sit there and imagine this situation and play it out in the best way it could play out? Because what we usually do, and I know sometimes this may sound unrealistic, why is it that we sit there and believe that the worst could happen and it does happen? Why not, fuck it, sit there and believe that the best could happen and entertain that story? Because overall what we're doing is we're just entertaining stories within our mind. We go and we create these huge stories about whatever it is we may be going through. But the way most of us live is that we create these stories through fear, 
through judgment, through anger, through all these negative, low as vibing emotions? What if we shift and instead we assume that the best is going to happen and we create these beautiful stories that make us feel good? And instead of going to sleep with worries, we go to sleep with anticipation, assuming that the best is going to happen. Why? Because everything always works out for me. What if you begin telling yourself and feeding yourself this daily? Everything always works out for me. Why? Because I'm Ruby or whatever your name is. I just like using my name because, you know, that's what I've been feeding myself lately. But overall, when we're going on this mental diet, I want you to think which feels better. Expecting worst case scenario or assuming that everything works out for you. What if you could just replace your worries And just trust and believe that everything works out for you. What if you begin to stop interrupting those negative thoughts and replace them with positive ones? Now, I don't know exactly what you may be going through, what may be plaguing you at the moment. But whatever it is you're thinking, whatever it is the worst case scenario is, I want you to pause and assume the best case scenario. And see how that feels. And after you assume that once, I want you to keep entertaining that story. The same way you automatically default and entertain the fucked up worries, the fucked up fears that make you feel horrible. What if you just entertain the opposite that makes you feel great? Just try it. Make believe it's a game. Why not play that game? Why not invest your energy in something that makes you feel good? Because overall, we get to choose. And like I've told you, it's all about you. And this mental diet works with everything, works with anything. If you could sit there right now, grab a piece of paper and write down your top five worries, the top five things that are fucking you over right now. Then for every worry you have, you already know. I guarantee you already know the worst case scenario. You don't play that shit through your mind 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 times during the day, all fucking day. Now, I want you to write the opposite. Instead of everything that could go wrong, I want you to write down everything that could go right and do that for all of your worries. Top five. After that, for the next seven days, that's all it is, seven days, that's it. I want you to just entertain the positive story of what could go right. Assume that it already went right. Be thankful that it already happened the best way possible. Just see how it makes you feel. Invest your energy. So if this year you're thinking about going on a diet, fuck with me. Go on this mental diet. This will be the last diet you'll ever need. I guarantee it because I want you to start entertaining these positive, good feeling stories. So that's what you could create. So that's what you could manifest and see unravel in your life. Fuck with me one time. Do that. Before I wrap it up, right? Make sure y'all tap in. Follow me on IG at Hood Soul Wisdom, at Forever Wise Coaching, and at Forever Wise Apparel for updates, giveaways, and merch drops. And if you haven't yet, do yourself a favor and click the link on the bio at Hood Soul Wisdom to download eight affirmations to help you tap in and align with your essence. And subscribe to the email list so you're always up on game with what I got coming next. I appreciate you coming through and as always, may the higher powers guide you, protect you, and fully equip you with a pure mind, good health, and a solid spirit. With much love, respect, and sincerity, I'm out. <laughs>